Hi everyone, my name is Martha. I'm a relationship counsellor and clinical sexologist. In this video, I want to talk about emotional regulation. So we have all kinds of emotions and during this time, it's super stressful. I think people are having uh, challenges around their mental health and this is where our mental resilience can come in. So we feel what we feel, there's nothing wrong with the way we are feeling. But what do you do when the feelings that are coming up, the emotions that you're experiencing are negative and uh, how can you make yourself feel better? So the trick of it is just to feel better. Rather than rely on substances like alcohol, drugs, smoking and even food or even sugar, rather than relying on substances which uh, can all have detrimental effects. How about learning how to regulate your emotions in ways that uh, actually doesn't cost you much at all. So there are ways that we can let go of negative emotions. Um, negative emotions get stuck in our body. So one of the ways is movement. So very simple movements like walking, uh, running, shaking, dancing are all more active ways of regulating our emotions. There are more passive ways, for instance, uh, writing, journaling, uh, singing, uh, drawing can all help us to regulate our emotions as well. And uh, being gentle with yourself during this time when you're feeling overwhelmed. So don't judge yourself, notice what you're feeling and then ask yourself, what can I do to feel better? So just treat this as a very simple thing because when you're highly upset, it's very difficult to regulate your emotions. So it's like a muscle, it's something that you need to start practicing with. So start practicing on a daily basis. What am I feeling? How can I feel better? So just start doing that. And then your muscle of the way that you're regulating and controlling your emotions starts to become strengthened. When we talk about controlling your emotions, I am not talking about denying your emotions. I'm not talking about suppressing your emotions. I'm talking about actually noticing it and acknowledging it and giving it a space to breathe and uh, to change form. Instead of ignoring it um, and letting it build up more and more, I'm talking about actually noticing it and working with it and then letting those negative emotions that doesn't need to stay in your body to go. So uh, let's do a very simple uh, way of uh, letting go of negative emotions um, since I've covered several and it's for you to explore. I would like to talk about breathing. So as you breathe, breathe in through your nose, down to your stomach and breathe out through your mouth. You are already regulating your emotions. So they are more active and then there's more quiet ways. So breathing in and then letting go. So if you want to do it in a more dynamic way, what you can do is you can uh, visualize good energy coming into your body uh, as you're breathing in good energy, breathing in good energy and breathing out all the negative en energy with your exhalation through your mouth. So visualize letting go of the negative energy. And as you breathe in and letting go of negative energy, you can visualize a color. So this helps you, your active brain to be much more engaged so that instead of just breathing, you are actually visualizing and you're adding in the intention of letting go. Another thing you can do is if, if it's convenient, if it's possible, you can add sound. So you can... So this sends a loop to your brain to let go faster because it actually through time and practice becomes a signal to your body this is what you are doing now. You are actually setting yourself up so that through time and repetition it becomes easier and easier, faster and faster to let go quickly and more actively. So your breath, because our breath is always with us, so your breath, you can use your intention, let go, you can visualize a color and then you can add a sound and you can even add a movement. So you can you can do something like that and what you're doing the intention in your head because our mind is so powerful we actually can control our brain you can actually tell brain let go let go let go let go so whatever it is that you need to let go of today that's not serving you that is making you feel unhappy distressed anxious practice this practice this so this is one way, there are many ways, as I mentioned, a quick recap, writing, journaling, drawing, walking, running, shaking, dancing, uh, silent scream, 
uh, punching on pillow all of them help with letting go of negative emotions the trick is it's not that you are drawing it out and then making yourself an angry person you are doing it with the intention of letting go so don't be afraid of your emotions so this has been Martha of Eros Coaching uh, doing this video for She The People TV subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us